What's going on guys and gals, my name's Sean, and if you landed here, you're watching Scar My Guitar. Now some of you guys know what I'm fixing to tell you. Me and Kathy had a little French bulldog named Hammy. He was our whole world man and we lost him the other day. I'm not going to get into it, I'm just going to tell you, appreciate everybody that commented and wished us well for it, I really appreciate it. Yeah, we ain't been doing much because he's been sick for the last week, so I got a bunch of videos saved up. We're probably gonna check those out. Yeah, we're gonna go out in the garage and do a few things. I'm gonna show you a whole bunch of stuff that I do to make custom guitars today. Now, I'm not gonna build no guitar from start to finish. I'm just gonna do a whole bunch of random stuff that I think you guys would probably like to see how it's done. Or at least see how I do it and the tools that I use. Now, I'm gonna give you fair warning right now. You see the sign. It don't say baby my guitar. Yeah, if you're new to the channel, take a good look at it. It says scar my guitar. Yeah, take a good look, because I'm almost absolutely certain no other YouTuber or guitar repair guy on the planet does stuff the way I do. Now, I don't know if that's a good thing, but I get the job done. Yeah, most of the time anyway. But I'm just giving you fair warning if you got some kind of OCD. You might want to go on and bail out now. For the rest of you guys that are still here, we about to have a good old time. Now, we got a bunch of stuff to do. We're going to do a bunch of random work and all this mess. I guess we better get at it, huh? So that's going to be enough lip flapping. Let's make it happen.
Now that's looking pretty sweet. Wait till I stain this thing. That flame's gonna bust out of that guy like you ain't ever seen. What are you doing out here, you bonehead? I'm working. What's it look like I'm doing? Come over here and hold the camera for me. <laughs> I can't. I'm busy. What are you doing? I'm gonna see if you're using the CNC right now. Nope. I wanna make a new kind of pickup, but I don't have the bobbins I need for the magnets. So what am I gonna do? You're gonna make them for me. What, on the CNC? Yeah. All right, let's do it. Cause we're making a YouTube video right now together. <laughs> nice. I love that semi hollow uh, telly look, man, and that that black stain on the flame is just killer. Hell, it's killer, don't it? Wow. That's a nice piece of maple. Woo! <laughs> that guy's beautiful, ain't it? I know a guy that would say, Woo! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know that guy too. <laughs> but now, oh, well, we almost forgot that piece. The guy's OCD was getting him right now. <laughs> so who, who's that one going to? This is going to a friend of mine named Benjamin. Maxidon. Boy, that looks good. He's a special guitar there, isn't he? Yes, he is, isn't he? I mean, that looks sick. <laughs> well, if you think that looks sick, let me uh, get this cup here. Oh, you, you staying in it blue? Yeah. Oh, wow. Pay attention. <laughs> <laughs> 
Pay attention, I'm probably going to ruin it. <laughs> yeah, right. We'll see. Wow. That's like that's like a sick like greenish too. That's cool. This is just the lighter blue here, it's the aqua. Right. We're gonna do a better blue around the outside. You just gotta hang on a dang minute, Trey. Let's see. He's looking pretty good though, ain't he? That's sick. He ain't looking bad, that's for sure. So don't gotta look good, just can't look bad. That's what I always hurt. <laughs> right, if it looks bad, then, then you start over. Right. Necessarily ain't gotta look good, just can't look bad. <laughs> but that don't look bad. Not even a little bit. Wow. That's killing. <laughs> Yeah, that's killing right there. That's that's like one of the flamiest guitars I've ever seen you make. Yeah, I got a couple of them under my belt like this, but we got one more color to go. Oh. Yeah, we got one more. We got one more color to go. We gotta do one more little color here. Make sure we get that nice and dark down in through there, boy. Ooh, giggy. Yeah. I don't know. Might still need a little up here. I'm about half blind in my old age, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, you need glasses? <laughs> what? New need them. Need glasses. I'm the epiphany of need glasses. <laughs> now, one more time here. That's like a dragon burst. That's like crazy cool looking. Yeah. He really looks cool. I'm digging it. It ain't hurting nothing, for sure. Is it? No. Nope. It's like I was going for a kind of a teal blue. It's with yeah, a, it's with definitely a, getting there. Boy, I think wiping that on there gets it. Starts talking that little language you were hoping for there, don't it? The one that says, "Play me." Shred me, Trey. Shred me. <laughs> huh? That's killer. Shred me, Trey. Shred me, brother. Shred me, bro. <laughs> Dude, I'm editing this Bike Week video, and it's over an hour long already. Well, that's what you gotta do. Man, what do you guys think about that? Trey, you like that, bro, for real? I love it. Yeah, it's pretty sick, ain't it? <laughs> Man, this thing's looking killer. I'm finna route around it here, shake the body up some, but man, I always love putting that name in there too. It just makes it look so cool. But we gotta do a little more work here.
Thank you for taking time away from making pickups to help me again. You're welcome. Been pretty scarce around here lately. You owe me one. What? Pretty sure I owe you more than one. I'm thinking. But man, look how flamey that maple is in there. <laughs> Looking good, thank you. I just want to clean up some of this ugly. You know what I'm saying? Get some of this dye off the side of it. And clean this up good when we can do the next step. Just trying to get any burn marks the router might have caused. We want that maple to be nice and pretty for when the clear coat hits it. Probably wondering why that's there. Trust me, keeps that neck super tight in the pocket. Man, look at this thing out here in the sun. 
Now, if you're wondering about the neck pocket, why I don't have it taped off, I'm finna spray it. I'm gonna route it a little deeper in the end. I always like to clear them out. I had to bring it over here in the shade so we could look at it a little better. Might have been gleaming just a little too much in the sun. But man, look at that thing. Yep, I love it when a plan comes together. Yeah, a lot of people love that flame maple. Some people love that naughty pine too. What are you doing? Are you going to come put this pet guard in for me or what? Yeah, I'll do it right now. All right, so I put Kathy's pickups, well, the pit guard she made up for me, inside my old parts caster. Now, here's something crazy. She's got eight neodymium magnets in this thing, and I'm going to tell you this right now. I dropped the guitar and thought that I messed up the fretwork on it, but I checked it. It's perfect. I can't get it to stay in tune, and it's buzzing like crazy. And now I realize it's because these magnets are so strong, they're literally pulling the strings to the fretboard. Uh, <laughs> it's crazy, and it only happens when I'm playing it. Because once the vibration gets started, I literally can see it dragging it to it. Once it gets vibrating, it pulls it to it. It's insane. But boy, these things sound killer. Let's turn it up a little bit. I'm hearing but it's also microphonic listen there it is what is that it's that magnet listening to the springs <laughs> it's not so bad in the neck because it's not right over the springs these pickups would probably be way better with a few less magnets <laughs> Boy, that middle position's sweet. Yeah, it's really microphonic. sound good but I'm gonna say these need to go back to the drawing board now hang on just a dang minute Sean you trying to get cracked bro talking about Kathy's pickup suck yeah I ain't gonna lie I'm probably gonna get cracked on this one bro look if I gotta get cracked so be it but those guys gotta go back to the drawing board I don't know I just don't think it needs all those magnets but I do know it sounds good so she must be on to something and if you want to see how she made them you need to subscribe to her channel. There's a link in the description. I'll put a link down there to the video where she made these in. And as always, we really appreciate you watching. And I hope to see you again in the next one. But until I do see you again, don't you touch my scar guitar.